The State Wildlife Action Plan is the agenda for conservation success all across America. Every 10 years, U.S. Congress requires each state to develop a proactive plan for a vast array of wildlife, including amphibians, birds, and reptiles before they become rare and more costly to protect. And yet a federal strategy is now in place to promote the health of honeybees and other pollinators, including the monarch butterfly. It's good timing as 2015 marked the year for state wildlife plan revisions and updates. Part of that updating is to take a look at your species of greatest conservation need list and see what you need to do in terms of revising that. Jane Norris heads up the Conservation Management and Rare Resources Unit with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. The plans are done in partnership with a lot of conservation um, groups within the state and other agencies and organizations. All plans were initially prepared and submitted for approval in 2005. One of the requirements was that those plans had to be updated at least every 10 years. So a number of states are coming up to that 2015 deadline. Part of that updating is to take a look at your species of greatest conservation need list and see what you need to do in terms of revising that. All states have developed their own criteria for that. Each year, the Wildlife and Sport Fish Restoration Program of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service administers state wildlife grant funding to states to help prevent wildlife, such as the monarch butterfly, from becoming endangered. The monarch has been on the decline by 90% in recent years as the result of numerous threats, particularly a loss of habitat or milkweed due to agricultural practices, development, and cropland conversion in addition to the loss of wintering habitat in Mexico and California. In this joint letter signed at the 2015 North American Wildlife and Natural Resources Conference in Omaha, Nebraska, Fish and Wildlife Service Director Dan Ash and Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies President Larry Voyles urged states to take creative actions on behalf of the monarch butterflies and other pollinators. The adult butterflies basically need food to fuel their flight, so they need access to flowers that have nectar for them. Dr. Karen Oberhauser, biology professor at the University of Minnesota, is chair of the Monarch Joint Venture, a collaboration of state, federal, non-governmental agencies, and academic programs that are committed to a science-based approach to monarch conservation efforts. Dr. Oberhauser says partnerships with support through state wildlife action plans are beneficial to the health of wildlife and the people. State wildlife action plans are very important because monarch conservation really needs to occur at the grassroots level. So while there can be direction from the federal government, we really need the action to occur at the state, the county, the local, even the private individual level. And milkweed planting on that grassroots level can make a big difference. But the good thing is that we can make a difference. We can make a difference along roadsides, in people's yards, um, anywhere between fields where there's habitat available because monarchs can find it and we just need to spread it out there on the landscape as much as we can to make up for what we've lost. There's a lot of research. We're very fortunate that we have the programs we do at the University of Minnesota, and we partner with them on a number of projects, not just monarch conservation. Um, the Minnesota Zoo is also here, and they're doing research on some of our endangered and threatened prairie butterflies. Um, so we do try to collaborate, collaborate as much as possible. Everyone's funds are limited. People, different organizations have different expertise, so we try to pull those together and make a really comprehensive conservation package for these species. We're very encouraged with the inclusion of monarchs in multiple state wildlife action plans because that really is going to make a difference at the level where we need to make a difference. In Washington, Kim Benton, Wildlife and Sport Fish Restoration Program, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Department of the Interior.